All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over negative keywords for Google Ads. So I'm gonna be going over some negative keyword best practices. Um, I'm gonna go over negative keywords for search campaigns and display campaigns, how to find ideas for negative keywords you can add to your campaigns, and some different negative keyword match types that you need to know. So in a recent video, we went over Google Ads keyword match types. So you can check that out on our channel. We have our Google Ads keyword match types explained. We went over broad match, modified broad match, phrase match, and exact match keywords. So for this one, I'm gonna be going over negative keywords. So when you're actually targeting keywords, how to find different negative keyword ideas. So the first thing I wanna do is I've opened up my search campaign here. So the way you would go about adding negative keywords to your campaign is you would wanna check out your keywords and make sure you set a good amount of dates depending on how much you're spending. So with high budget campaigns, um, I've added negative keywords sometimes multiple times per week. It's one of the best optimization strategies through Google Ads. So you wanna add them pretty regularly. Otherwise you can just do it weekly. Just make sure you're keeping up with your negative keywords. As you're kind of adding negative keywords over the course of a campaign, you're not gonna have to add them as often. So what I'm gonna do is I'm in here in my search campaign, I'm looking at all the keywords that I'm targeting. So what I can do is come here right to the search terms report. So in the search terms report, it's gonna show you the top search queries that people are actually typing in to trigger your advertisements. If you're using your entire search campaign, it'll show search term, what the match type was, and then it'll show an ad group. And then you can actually get statistics for each individual search query. So you can get a lot of ideas through the search terms report. This is really where you want to go to add negative keywords to your campaign. So what you can do is scroll down and just see the types of different keywords that people are typing in to trigger your advertisements. Now, personally, I prefer to do this at the ad group level. So if I'm looking at something like farmhouse cabinets or farmhouse copper sinks or farmhouse dining tables, I can see the exact search queries that people are typing in. So I know to add negative keywords for those specific search queries. So what I can do is come down here and let's just say I'm looking at farmhouse cabinets right now. Farmhouse cabinet hardware actually refers to things like handles or knobs. So the page that I'm sending traffic to is only listing farmhouse cabinets specifically. So if someone's typing in farmhouse cabinet hardware and they're coming to my landing page, they're less likely to convert. Even though I have a conversion here for this specific one, it's one of those things where if I'm adding hardware here, I'd rather send them to a page specific for hardware. So what I can do is take this keyword right here. I can add it as a negative keyword. You can either add it to the ad group level, the campaign level, or a negative keyword list. And then there's different negative keyword match types. So what I'm gonna do is go over match types real quick before we add any negative keywords so you understand the different match types and how they work. So these are the negative keyword match types right here. I've pulled these graphics from Google Ads. So if you look at negative broad match keywords, they perform very similarly to modified broad match keywords, but it's just the opposite. So instead of targeting these keywords, you're actually excluding them from your campaign. So if you have a negative broad match keyword of running shoes, then you can see here if someone types in shoes running, an advertisement will not show. Compare that to phrase match, where if someone types in shoes running and your negative phrase match keyword is running shoes then your ad still will show so this works more like modified broad match as a negative keyword match type negative exact match is the easiest to understand so basically if you negative exact a keyword running shoes then only if someone types in that exact keyword is your advertisement going to exclude that search query from the campaign so negative phrase match is specifically taking out the phrases that people are typing in. So if you do blue running shoes, then an advertisement will not show. With exact match, if someone types in blue running shoes and you have the exact match keyword of running shoes, then your advertisement will still show. So if we look at negative broad match over here, so if our negative broad match keyword is running shoes, then if someone types in blue tennis shoes, an advertisement is still gonna show. Running gear, an advertisement is still gonna show. But for all three of these at the bottom, running shoes, blue running shoes, and shoes running, an advertisement will not show for any of those search queries. So just one way to look at negative keyword match types. Now, if it's a single negative keyword that you're adding, let's just say, for example, it's running, then the negative broad match keyword and the negative phrase match keyword will perform exactly the same. So if you're just adding one keyword as a negative keyword, so one specific word for your negative keyword, then you can just use negative broad match. You don't have to use negative phrase match. Negative phrase match is more useful if you're trying to get rid of a specific phrase from your campaign. I generally use negative broad match for single keywords, and then if it's more than one word in the keyword, then I'll use phrase match or exact match because it just makes more sense to me and it's easier for me to manage all of my keywords. 
So if I come over here real quick, I'm adding farmhouse cabinet hardware. So I can just add this negative keyword to the ad group as an exact match keyword type, but I'd rather just get rid of hardware altogether because I'd rather target that in a different ad group. Even though it's driven a conversion for me here, it's not something I want to completely exclude from my campaign. I just want to make sure that if I'm sending someone to my landing page and they're looking for hardware, they're going to see farmhouse cabinet hardware rather than a huge list of farmhouse cabinets. So it's just one way to look at negative keywords. So what I can do is add this to the ad group level and just type in hardware. So now it's a negative broad match keyword. So anybody who types in hardware along with farmhouse cabinets in their keyword, then they're not going to see my advertisement. So all I have to do is click on save. And now it's going to say one search term was added as a negative keyword. So pretty simple there. So if we go to negative keywords, you're going to see our negative keyword there and it's added to the ad group level of farmhouse cabinets. So it's really simple to add negative keywords to your campaign. You can do it in bulk as well. So if you come over to your search terms report and you select multiple search terms here, you can add multiple ones to your campaign at once. Now, the other thing I want to show you is let's look at farmhouse shelves here. So I'm looking at my search terms report for this individual ad group. So what I can do is come down here and a lot of these search terms are very relevant for my advertisements and for my landing page. So farmhouse shelves, shelving, floating shelves, those are all really relevant. Now something like DIY, this is where you need to understand user intent when they're actually typing in your keyword. So if someone's typing in farmhouse shelves DIY, then that means they're probably looking for either DIY projects or specific products that they can use for DIY projects. So I don't have that on my page. I only have new farmhouse shelves for sale. So most people aren't going to buy new farmhouse shelves and make a DIY project with them. You're either going to buy someone's used farmhouse shelves and you're going to fix them up, or you're going to be looking for DIY projects. So you can go out and you can go to the hardware store and you can buy all the materials you need to create a DIY project of shelves or whatever it is. So I want to add DIY to the ad group level as a negative keyword here. We're going to do it again, ad group. I'm going to do it as a negative broad match keyword. So pretty simple. Click on save. Now, the other thing I can do is you could see farmhouse shelf brackets here. So I don't have that on the page. So there's two options here. I can either add it as a negative phrase match keyword, which is what I'm going to do. Or what I can do is make sure my individual page has shelf brackets on it. So when people go to that page, they can find both farmhouse shelves and shelf brackets because they're both very relevant together. So two different options that you can use. Um, it's just one thing to consider. Now, the other thing to go through is when you're targeting for something like a product like farmhouse shelves or anything like that people are going to type in brand name so something like hobby lobby i prefer to take those completely out of my campaign altogether so i'll add it as a negative keyword and i'll add it to the campaign level and i'll do hobby lobby because i think when someone's looking for something from a specific store whether it's lowe's home depot uh, maybe someone's looking for amazon I'd rather just have people come to my website who are looking for specific products and not looking for a specific product with a website. So that's kind of more of something that you can test and see how it performs in your own campaign before you exclude it from it. I prefer to just get rid of it altogether because I'd rather just have people who are looking for something, a specific product rather than a product and a store or a service and a store. So I'll take Hobby Lobby out, the phrase match keyword. Uh, so we're adding it to the campaign level so it's not going to show for any of our other ad groups here and click on save. So now that's going to be added to our negative keyword list as well. So now we have a few different negative keywords added to our keyword list. So the next thing I want to go over is if you come to tools here under shared library, if you go to negative keyword lists, what you can actually do is create a negative keyword list and just add it to each individual campaign. So what I can do is click here and it's going to say create a new negative keyword list. Now, one thing I like to add to every campaign is there's an article on this website, techwise.com. It's 75 effective negative keywords to include in your Google ads campaign. If you scroll down, you can see there's a lot of different keywords here. So some of them are related to employment. Some of them are just a little bit more almost X rated keywords. So we keep coming down so you can see education search negative keywords. So people who are looking for either employment opportunities or education opportunities or people who are looking for research and information. Um, so review reviews. A lot of times they're not ready to buy anything. They're looking specifically at reviews. So unless you have some of these really good reviews on your website or you have really good ratings on your website or opinions or something like that, then I like to add all of these keywords to my list. I still recommend going through all of them because, for example, for Surfside PPC, some of these different education search negative keywords would actually take out some keywords that would be very, 
very relevant for my advertisements. So if you watch our videos, you know we have a lot of tutorials there. We have some courses. So things like that, I don't really want to remove from my campaign. So I still recommend going through this negative keyword list here. But what I've done is I've taken the negative keyword list, I put it in a notepad. And so I'm just going to come to the bottom and I'm going to copy from the bottom all the way to the top. We're going to come back over here to our negative keyword list. So I'm just going to do farmhouse goals, negative keyword list. And you can continue to add to this as well. So what I'm going to do is click on save. So now we have a negative keyword list here. It's going to say zero campaign. So if we click on it and scroll all the way to the bottom here, what we can do is click on apply to campaigns and apply it right to our farmhouse goals search campaign. So pretty simple. Click on done. So now it's going to be applied to our search campaign and it's that simple and you can continue to add to this negative keyword list as you go. So just one option for managing your negative keywords, especially if you're building a lot of campaigns in your account, then you want to make sure you're using negative keyword lists and it's really simple. Just go to tools and go to shared library and then right here, negative keyword lists. So the last thing I want to go through here is we come over to the left back to our Google ads campaign and what I'm going to do is come into our display campaign here. And you can add negative keywords to your display campaign as well, but it's a little bit different. So the way they work is there's only broad match negative keywords and they perform similarly to if you're targeting keywords on the display network or on the video network. So let's just say, for example, I'm targeting this custom intent audience. I want to make sure that my ads aren't appearing on any pages related to, let's just say, beach decor. So what I can do is add a negative keyword here. And you could either use your negative keyword list or add, add negative keywords just like this. So we're adding it to the campaign. So what I can do is make sure that my ads don't appear on any pages related to beach decor. Or if you're running video advertising campaigns, making sure it's not related to beach decor. Now farmhouse and beach decor have a little bit of an overlap, but let's just say someone's shopping for things for their beach home. I'd rather them not see my farmhouse goals advertisements. So I can add that as a negative keyword. And then pages that are contextually matched to beach decor, like our website beachfront decor, will not show farmhouse goals advertisements. Now this can work for a lot of different instances. So let's just say, for example, I'm running advertisements about marketing. So I'm running advertisements for Surfside PPC. I'm trying to get people, let's say, new Google Ads clients. So one of the things I can add as a negative keyword is I want to make sure I'm not reaching any pages that are just related to making money online, things like that, working from home or anything like that. I'm really trying to find good clients, good business to business clients. Um, I'm trying to find big businesses and not specifically people who are looking to make money online or work from home. I'm looking for some type of large business to contact me with a large budget. What I can do is add a negative keywords here and just do something like make money online, work from home, things like that. I can start to add different negative keywords like that so that my ads are only appearing on pages that are more related to marketing news or business news or things like that. So I'm trying to get rid of some of the websites where people are selling make money online courses, work from home courses and things like that, make X amount of dollars in a few months. I don't really want to have my advertisements tar targeted to those pages. So you can add negative keywords for your display campaigns as well. I don't use negative keywords too often for my display campaigns. The only thing you can do is look at your placement report. So see where your ads are showing up and then use that to kind of guide some of your negative keyword decisions. If your ads are appearing on a lot of web websites with games and things like that, you can come in here and just do something like online games, multiplayer games, things like that. So that your ads are really appearing to on websites that are going to be more related to the content that you're advertising. So that's pretty much negative keywords here. So if I'm going to add a display negative keyword for beach decor, all I have to do is just like that, add it to the campaign level. You can add it to the ad group level as well, but we're just going to do the campaign level and we're going to click on save. So now beach decor is a negative keyword for a display campaign. It works the same way for video campaigns as well. So it's just a little bit different. There's only broad match keywords. It's not exact match because people aren't actually typing keywords. It's contextually based. So based on the websites that people are visiting. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.